introducing update 0.20 tanks reloaded we are happy to announce i'm so chuffed that you're happy to announce it addition to the armored warfare update 0.20 following the course set by update 0.19 tanks reloaded by introducing more features based on balance 2.0 great so no no worries no detail apart from the updated garage new maps let's have a look at list of changes what detail do we have fire missiles on the move okay fair enough we were happy with that considering in some instances the missiles by the ai were fired on the move there's no real information about ai there nothing about ai there user interface doesn't refer to ai vehicles nothing about ai shell and armor nothing about ai hit points conversion nothing about ai t73 artillery class so nothing about ai because the ai doesn't have an artillery class in pve there's nothing in pve that affects pve the correction pvp that affects pve and there's no detailed information on changes to ai vehicles in player versus environment just a list of issues and corrections and some optimization of maps okay the forum went looking for detailed patch notes prior to the release of update 0.20 there wasn't any the only thing i found just after it was released was this and the list of changes is exactly the same as the web page that we just looked at. So, why am I upset? On December 7, 2016, the Developer Digest Part 22 was released, and this was a breath of fresh air, a look at new information. So, everyone was happy to see that. Welcome to the 22nd issue. Here you can find out more about game development straight from the developers and producers of Armored Warfare. So this is definitive. And it's answers connected to Balance 2.0 and matters related. So the first question, tell us more about PVE. Tells us we're going to introduce several changes in 0.19. They did, and it was good. The update to SPG, although the player kept his SPG, they removed elements of it like smoke and alum. I don't know why they removed smoke and alum, because alum was good for lighting up where potential enemy locations were or access of advance so that we could see where the enemy was approaching from, which is a good thing. But I think it might have been unfair to the AI because we would have had an unfair advantage because the AI can't see us before we can see them. So they don't have a spotting advantage. The AI can't shoot us when they do see us before we see them because they don't have a spotting advantage. And the AI will focus fire on every vehicle that gets seen before you see them because they don't have a spotting advantage. And that's just being a little cynical, isn't it? Anyhow, so the frustrations shown by artillery annoyed players because targeted them and they had no means of getting defense against them well you introduce missiles and because missile firing occurs closer than 250 meters your your aps doesn't work not with inside 250 meters it's useless so that's handy if they do shoot at you at long range generally your first aps will stop the first missile but around about 40% of them will fire more than one missile at you because if there's three missile firers in the same area, every one of them will fire a missile. The first one knocks out your APS, the next two missiles hit you. Or lo and behold, if you face a Terminator or a T-14, a correction T-15, heaven forbid, the first missile knocks out your APS, the other three are going to penetrate you. Wow, that's a bonus, isn't it? So, the additional changes are happy with the tier progression not a problem happy with scaling not a problem the next one is the one that irks me right now because it says all vehicles that can fire missiles 
can, although these missiles are flying in a straight line. Okay, that's fair enough. Their trajectory does not change in flight. Well, bullshit. The moment you introduce the missile firers into patch 19, they tracked you. You'd backing around a corner and they'd follow you and hit you, probably not around the corner, but they would curve to keep tracking you as you tried to get around a corner. And now, not only do they fire missiles at you all the time, they're constantly penetrating turrets. The M1 is probably the most susceptible. Every time a missile hits an M1, it's penetrating, or the M1 family, it penetrates the turret, <coughs> knocks it out, and jams it. Well, that's a bonus, isn't it? Yet you fire missiles at the XM1A3 or M1A2s that you might happen to see in battle, and it doesn't jam their turrets. Matter of fact, 90% of the time it doesn't even penetrate the turrets. Gee, that's a bonus, isn't it? So players can't do what the AI can. Wow, that's equitable and fair. Beautiful. Got to be happy with that. I think it's a bit ridiculous to the point now. The developers really need to revisit the amount of missiles being fired. All of the Russian T-Series family of tanks fire a bloody missile. All of their APCs and AFVs fire bloody missiles. So now you've got the Makava. Not only does it fire missiles, the enemy Makava has a three round ready rack that fires its missiles faster than its main gun would fire with the three rounds. I mean, yes, the players have exactly the same advantage, but player missiles don't penetrate anywhere near as well as what the AI ones do. Especially when the AI Macarver fires at an AI a player Macarver and penetrates the turret. Yet I can't do it to them. What? So now we've got all these vehicles firing missiles. You add in, you've got the swing fire. I hated the swing fire because the missile was horizontal. So as it said, they'd fly in a straight line. So instead of it firing into the air, curving over and tracking down, which would meet your second requirement, it would have to track. So therefore you can't do that. But my next clip is going to prove the point that for some reason that's changed. My previous one about the missiles, the swing fires were firing them over a railway abutment and curving them over the top to hit me. I, I don't understand. When you make these changes, why won't you tell us about it? And then why don't you now make our APS in PVE far more effective? But it isn't. But every bloody vehicle, well, not every vehicle, but at least 80% of them, is firing a missile at us. And it's just hard to beat. And it's getting annoying to the point where I don't want to play anymore because you've changed too much without telling us or giving us information about why you changed it. And the AI now has an unfair advantage because you can't dodge them. Okay, this is the clip where we're looking at it now. All of this is the question that burns me up the most. So I've shot everything in town, along with everyone else. Got 4485 damage, and I'm moving over here, sneaking through on the left. So my vehicle's in here, just coming up now. There I am, there, just tracking through. So I haven't been spotted yet. The M109 maybe can see something. Still moving up here, just coming up along here. Now I'm spotted by a swing fire. Well, I've spotted him. And he is now turning his turret to look at me because he's spotted me. Now he's fired a missile. That missile is going over, tracking along and heading for me. But I'm behind the hill so he can't get me. His next missile goes up in the air, tracks along, and now it's going to curve to the right so as it hits me, just like a traditional swing fire. 
it will fire vertically, track across, and then hit horizontally. What the fuck is going on? I thought they were meant to fire straight ahead. Okay, so I'm not spotted anymore, but I am spotted by the expeditionary tank. All of these vehicles are now shooting at me. I'm trying to hide. I have no smoke, and I'm waiting for it to refit. So I'm now hiding right here. I'm in the low ground behind that little bit of a pimple there. I'm still spotted up. I'm still seen, but I can't see them. So I don't know where the enemy are. So I roll out to have a look. I've spotted a BMP-3. And it's coming in. And now the swing fires up. Now I'm being shot at. And here goes the missile. That's horizontal. That's like it's supposed to. But it is still trying to curve to hit me. It climbed right at the last moment to try and hit me. Okay, I still can't see anything else. The BMP has now disappeared. I've ducked back into cover. And I've been shot from the rear by a T-90 that I can't see. And now we've got it firing a missile in the air, tracks over, across, down, and then curves to track at the ram car. Just like a normal swing fire. Wow. But I thought they were only meant to fire horizontally and straight ahead. Unbelievable. Give me a freaking break. <laughs>